Some of the biggest names in Hollywood are starting to arrive in Toronto. The city's International Film Festival kicks off tonight. And beyond being a place to spot stars, TIFF has evolved into a launching pad for Oscar contenders. Mike Jorlet has more on the films that are generating buzz this year. Every box, every color, every hole on the big board gets a hard look from Angie Manfredi, a tourist, cinephile, and TIFF veteran. I have 30 films already, but I'm trying to get to 35 or 40 this year. Sounds remarkable, but that's TIFF. 12 days of September where movies from around the world are premiered, bought, and sold. And people like New Mexico resident Angie watch it all unfold from the front row. When people tell me, like, why don't you want to go somewhere else in the world for your vacation, I say I go all over the world. TIFF has arguably become the most important film festival in the world. If you want to be seen, you go to Sundance. You want stars, you go to Cannes. You want to win awards, it's TIFF. These people die. They die badly. It's what Argo did last year, coming from seemingly nowhere to win Best Picture. In fact, the last six Best Picture winners premiered in Toronto. I think we've had, the last 25 years, we've had 24 of the winners in the Best Foreign Film category. So it's just, you know, that's an amazing track record. Now, picking a winner from among the 366 films, well, is impossible. The buzz, however, is around two. Gravity, with its $80 million budget and star power that includes George Clooney and Sandra Bullock, lives up to the hype. This one is a bullet train. It just starts and goes. So too does 12 Years a Slave. If you want to survive, do and say as little as possible. And if you want to talk Oscars, this is the film you want to see. If Chiwetel Ejiofor doesn't get an Oscar nomination or, or actually win, I'm going to be very, very disappointed in, you know, the human race as we know it. It's a, it's a phenomenal performance in a really good movie. No doubt both are on Angie's must-see list. Who wants to see good movies? And if she happens upon a few red carpets, well, that's just a bonus. What if the stars are there and they stay after to answer questions? What if? Well, Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto. I wouldn't.